Hello, Team Kids! Mike here, so glad to be with you boys and girls at Team Kid Online. You may have noticed that Miss Linda is not here. She's on a little trip, but she'll be back next week. Tonight, you and me are going to take a trip. We're going all around the world to see some of the amazing things that God has created. We're going to learn that the things we can see in our world, in the earth, in the sky, and under the sea can help us learn some very awesome things about God. Are you ready to go? I am. All right. One, two, three. Wow. Look at all these stars. Aren't they beautiful? Have you ever been somewhere where the sky was so dark that you could see so many shining stars? Well, this dark sky here in the Arizona desert is why I can see so many more stars than at my home in Troy. I love to look at stars. Did you know there are billions of stars in the galaxy and in the universe? God made every one of these stars. Did you know that in Psalm 147, that the Bible tells us that God counts every star and he calls them all by name? Wow, that's a lot of counting. You know, when I see the stars, how many there are and how beautiful they are, it reminds me of how wise and powerful God is. If God could count every star and call them all by name, then he can take care of everything that comes into my life. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all these stars and go to our next place. Here we go. One, two, three. Wow! Here we are under the ocean at a coral reef. Did you know most of the earth is covered with water? And under the water there are amazing creatures. Look at the beautiful coral that's all around here. And here's our friend Terry the turtle. Terry is a sea turtle, and he's just one of the thousands of creatures that live under the ocean. Have you ever been to the ocean? Maybe to go swimming or fishing or to go on a boat? Well, there are so many fish and whales and octopuses and sharks. Ooh, ooh scary old sharks. And so many other creatures. God made all of these amazing sea creatures when he spoke them into existence. Wow. All right, Larry, we're going to keep on rolling. Team kids, are you ready? All right, here we go. On to our adventure. One, two, three. All right. Here we are in the Rocky Mountains. How cool is this? Man, I love mountains. Did you know there are mountains all over the world? Mountains are big and tall and strong. They stick up way into the sky. The tallest mountain in the world is called Mount Everest. It's 29,000 feet tall. Talk about a big mountain. You know, mountains are strong and tall, but did you know the Bible says that God can make the mountains melt like wax by just the sound of his voice? Wow, what a powerful, awesome God we serve. And you know, if God could make such mighty mountains, he can surely take care of you and me. 
I love mountains. They're so big and strong and majestic. But I'll tell you this, the God who made those mountains is more strong and powerful and majestic. Well, all right, Rocky Mountains, it's time for us to move on. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, everyone, we're here in the jungle. Did you know the jungle holds countless numbers of creatures, plants, trees, and all kinds of living things? There are jungles all over the world. Did you know that the Amazon rainforest in South America covers over 2.5 million square miles? Whoa! That is a serious jungle! And under the jungle canopy of trees, there is a wet, leafy, warm jungle filled with Amazon amazing, excuse me, <laughs> amazing trees and creatures and plants. God created everything that lives in the rainforest. And because God knows all things, he knows every square inch of those rainforests. What great wisdom and power God has to make something so huge as a rainforest and to know every little bit of it. Well, let's head back to Team Kid Headquarters. Bye, rainforest! See you around! One, two, three! All right! Back at Team Kid Headquarters! What an adventure! I'm so glad you came along with me. I want to share a couple of Bible passages with you that help us understand how the things we see on earth and in the sky and in the sea can help us learn about God. First is found in Romans chapter 1 verse 20. Here's how it goes. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible attributes, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen because they are understood through what has been made. So people are without excuse. The next passage is this. Psalm 19 verses 1 through 4. The heavens are telling about the glory of God. The sky displays His handiwork. Day after day, it speaks out. Night after night, it reveals God's greatness. There are no actual speech or word, nor is its voice literally heard. Yet its voice echoes throughout the earth. Its words carry to the distant horizon. The Bible tells us that when we look around and see all the things that God has made, those things are a testimony to the fact that God exists. When you see mountains and stars, the sun, the moon, the ocean, all of those things tell us there is a creator, and that creator is God. Team kids, God loves you. He sent Jesus to die on the cross so that you could be saved from your sins. I want you to go outside tonight, if you can, and look up at the stars and think about how great God is. And look at the beautiful sunrise tomorrow morning. Or just go out in your backyard and look at the grass and the flowers. Maybe even find a grasshopper. There are so many evidences that God is. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. So long, and we'll see you next week. Bye!